Edwin is excited by his evening with the Orgreaves and decides to take another look at the Clayhanger new house. Read in French. I'm alive. What the deuce is she after? <laughs> Who's there? Me. Oh, do you want me? Yes. Just wanted to ask you something. Did you know I was in here? Yes. I saw you from my bedroom window, so I came down. The others have all gone to bed, except Tom. I told him I was going to walk around the garden for a bit. They don't worry me, you know. They let me alone. I knew you were in the house by the light. I only struck a match a second ago. Excuse me. I saw a light quite five minutes ago. Oh, yes, ago. I remember when I came up the so cellar So I came through the hedge, like you did. Oh. I dare say you think it's very queer of me. Not at all. Oh, yes, you do. But I want to know. I want to know whether you meant it when you said you know at supper. 
that there is no virtue in believing. Did I say there was no virtue in believing? Of course you did. Do you mean to say you can say a thing like that and then forget about it? I don't know if it's true. But if it's true, it's one of the most wonderful things that was ever said. And that's why I want to know whether you meant it. Or whether you only said it because you thought it sounded clever. That's what they're always doing in that house, you know. Being clever. Yes, I meant it. Why? You did. Yes, I did. Well. Thank you. That's all. It may mean a new life to me, you know. I'm always trying to believe, always. Aren't you? I don't know. How do you mean? Well, you know, but perhaps you do believe. No, I don't. That doesn't worry you, honestly. <sighs> now, don't be clever, I hate that. No. Don't you ever think about it? No, not often. Charlie does. Has he told you? Yes, but of course I quite see why it doesn't worry you. If you honestly think there is no virtue in believing. Well, is there? I hope you're right. Oh, Jove, it's beginning to rain, I do believe. Thought it would. You better come under here. You'll catch it there if it keeps on. Better come here. Oh, I'm all right. There's no need to be afraid of me. come in the house. I can get a light there. No, thanks. Doesn't really matter what time it is, does it? Right. Hey, Miss Lesways. Well, that's an eye opener, that is. All that damned impudence. She squeezed my hand. So that's how 
women carry on. told me this afternoon that before midnight I should Morning, miss. Oh, good morning. Clifford! I'm so sorry. The staff seem to have vanished. Can I be of assistance to you? Oh, well, I don't mind waking. Well, that's quite all right. What can I get you? You do sell books, don't you? Uh, only the ones we have. We don't order, I'm afraid. Which book was it you wanted? Hem book. Oh, we have hymn books. What denomination? Methodist Church of England. Oh, Church of England, please. Ancient and modern. That's what you need. It costs two shillings and nine pence. Thank you very much. It's for my niece, you see. Ah, yes. It, it's for her birthday on the 29th. The day of the Sunday school centenary. Ah, yes. It was that as made me think of the in book for her. Well, it seems only right to have a new in book for that. What with her father on the platform and all. At Armbridge, that is. He teaches Sunday school there. Ah, that'll be two shillings and nine pence then. Thank you very much. My mother thinks we should go to Armbridge too. But she says. It'll be quite big here, but it would be bigger still at Ambridge. And what with me brother-in-law on the platform? One does feel one has responsibility there. Thank you. You'll be seeing it at Bursley yourself, will you? I'm afraid I probably shan't be able to see it at all. Oh. Huh. Good day, then, miss. Good day. Centenary. Who are you shouting at oh, I was wondering what had happened to stepfather. No, it happened to him as I knows of. He's on errand for me. Just think it'll harm me to serve his shop. No, father. Uh, I know shop will be shut on Thursday. Shut? Of course we'll be shut. That's forgotten. It's centenary of Sunday school. Uh, I'll have none of my workers kept from that. Sixpence a time it'll be. But you lads, pretend it's your customers, see? Then if folk comes along and wants a barrel, you'll have to tap thee as well before you jump down. Support. Right. Steady there. Up. Right. Hold it there. I think I can say we're ready. Thank you. Before we set off, before we set off to march to Bursley on this great day of celebration, I would like you all to join me in a moment of prayer. Oh, Lord. We dedicate this day to thee in grateful thanks for our own Sunday school and for every Sunday school in this land. Amen. Amen.
it's a grand day. A grand day. It'll be rare or not. I think it will, Father. Oh, it's a grand day for it. A perfect day. Some of them are set forth already, you know. Uh -huh. From Red Cow and Moorthorn and Village Round. Two hours march and more, some of them will have. Up and they'll be sweating, some of them will. But they'll know it's worth it for a day like this. Not be another such day for a hundred years. <laughs> uh, I reckon we've all to be thankful today. All together, they'll be. Church, chapel, all together. All denominations, all joining hands. To give thanks today. Hmm? Uh, wh where are you watching from, lad? Um, I haven't decided yet, Father. The square's the only place to be. That's where they're having the big service. Be wonderful is the square today. Get yourself up there. That's the place to be. Ah. Oh, ah. That is, it is. A grand, grand day. <laughs> Centenary. Another Sunday school. He's a rum cove sometimes, he really is. Say nothing wrong with being proud of a Sunday school. No, you don't. You didn't have to go to one. Every blooming Sunday I was shut in there. They're boring, pietistic, nauseating things. Have you eaten bacon at the dictionary? I detested them then. I still do. Why are you all dressed up for then? Dressed up? What do you mean? I thought from your suit you were going to watch. Oh, I'm curious, that's all. Oh. Will we all please be going? How should I know? Well, who else is going then? <coughs> Who's gonna see the fun? Well, do you mean you are, Father? Me? Not me. When can I take time off to enjoy myself? Oh, I know it's a holiday for some. I've done two hours' work already. One hour. Your pardon? One hour and a half. <laughs> and I shall be slaving away for the rest of the day. I've just seen your two brothers, though, striding briskly down the road and saying they were off to Canbridge because they thought the best larks would be there. Sunday schools, larks, that's something new. <laughs> you taking a view, Tom? Oh, yes, I shall. I wouldn't miss it. No, neither would I. But there you are. Once again, I'm a sacrifice pleasure for work. Did you hear that cry now for at least a week? Mother's going, isn't she? Similar plight. Unless you're feverish. Oh. oh, it's nothing serious. Slight case of overindulgence in something, I shouldn't wonder. Whatever the cause, your poor mother must stay at home, like me. We shall comfort each other. Aww. Hilda, let me talk to someone intelligent. Are you attending the frolics? No, I don't think so. Never went to Sunday school myself. Not in my brood. Wouldn't let them. Well, I wouldn't have stopped them, but they didn't volunteer. Nor did half the population of the country. That won't stop them being holy in every square of the land. Mm -hmm. You go along and enjoy yourself. Well... It's a lovely... You've hardly been out the house the whole week. Yes, I have. Well, hardly, Hilda. Two streets away for the dressmakers, that's all. At least let's be thankful for that. All those black clothes are liable to get anyone's out. And the slate grey suits you very well. At least we think it does. How about giving the rest of the world a peep? When do you think they'll be the next centenary? Not for a hundred years, at least. Oh. <laughs> every shop, every office in the towns is closed so that every man and woman can see the festivities. Every man and woman, I should have said, is not delayed by family illness or the overburdening pressure of work. Poor father, what a martyr. Well, I have to be. That's why you too must go. Tonight, when I'm weary and seated by the hearth, I shall expect you to recount every detail, every prayer and hymn I shall expect to hear. <laughs> Thank you. 
wonder if she'll... I hope not, anyway. Shelato suit. Where's father? We're oh, somewhere about. I expect to be along in a minute. Albert coming. Albert? Well, Albert can't possibly come to one o'clock. Didn't you know? One of the principal stewards in St Luke's Square. Says we aren't to wait dinner for him if he isn't prompt. Oh. <sighs> oh, my word, it's so hot. See the meat they were taking into the borough dining rooms. Albert said he shouldn't wonder if some of it went off. But as he said, if you should look in there at one o'clock or half past, there'll be some people. <laughs> My word, there will. <laughs> there'll be some money taken and all. I suppose you'll be staying here all morning. Well, you don't see me walking up and down the streets, do you? Albert said I was to be sure to go upstairs at once and not move. He said there'd be plenty for me to see for a long time yet from the sitting room window. And afterwards, I was to go and lie down. That's what Albert said. Where's Maggie? I think she's putting her things on. Didn't she know I was coming early? I don't know. Well, I told her. I told her I was coming early. I also told her what Albert said. Here, getting frightfully upset with your grades. Who told you that? Never mind who told me. Oh, are you here, dear? Oh, yes, I've come. Come upstairs, do. Come and be comfortable. You've no business to be sitting here like that. If you come upstairs with me. Well, if you think so. I do. <laughs> Oh, yes, so it is. So it is, if he's inside. Um, oh, come on, why not? Well, hello. Morning, Good morning. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm afraid it's just dreadful curiosity your door was open. <laughs> oh, the shop shut. Oh. Look, uh, won't you come in? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah she must do, please. Well, just for a minute, then. Oh, hello. We've come down to see the same scenery. Oh, yes. It does look as though it's going to be something, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Look, uh, have a cheer. No, we must. Yes, you can start. Get another one. This one. Here, please. Come here, Mum. There we are. One for you, Miss Lesway. Thank you. Oh, it's all taken us by surprise, you know. The centenary, I mean. There we've been sitting up at Lane End House being most disdainful about the whole thing. Well, we were wrong. There's no doubt of that. It's going to be quite a spectacle. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's us all over. It really is. I sometimes think we've no belief in anything at all. I've been pretty cynical myself, you know. We were all wrong, then. Yes, we were. <laughs> Good morning, there. Oh, Father, what a deceitful thing you are. Do you know, Mr. Edwin, what he said to us? He said he hadn't time for pleasures like centenaries. He was far too busy, he said, and look at him. Well, come, come on, we don't want to miss anything. Edwin, you're coming, aren't you? Did you ever see such a child? No, child, no, no child. We don't want to miss the fun. Look, are you coming or not? I'm not standing well, here. Come in. Follow on, <laughs> you two. Uh, get me out. Are you ready? Yes. Jove, I'll make you show your hand. You don't play with me. Well, uh, Better hurry. Uh, yes.
Hope you didn't catch cold in the rain the other night. I should have thought it would have been you who were more likely to catch cold. Where are they? Who? The others. Oh, the others, aren't they in front? There must be somewhere about. Well, I suppose if we keep on walking, we'll catch them up. Oh, yes. Morning, Mr. Clayhanger. Morning. They may have gone up to Cock Yard, if you know where that is. Well, hadn't we better find them somehow? Uh, yes, hello there. Oh, hello. Um, uh, we seem to have got parted from your father and Miss Orgreave. You haven't seen them, have you? Not a sign. They're always getting lost. It's just carelessness. Not bad here, but I'm off to Hanbridge to see what's happening there. Hope you find them. If you want to, I mean. Hey, there's a fellow there letting out barrels. Get a good view from them. That sounds an idea, doesn't it? Well... You lead us to me. Excuse me. Uh, can we have a couple of barrels? Sorry, Master, all taken. Oh. Hey, uh, tell you what, though. Uh, these here two chaps will shunt off for price of quart. <laughs> yeah, you'll oblige, gentlemen, will you? Thank you very much. There we are. Sixpence each. A quart, sir. Oh, um... Uh, there we are, thanks. Uh, and, uh, Yes. Got them anyway. <laughs> Do you wish they wouldn't spit on their money? Don't you think you'd better put up your sunshade? The sun's very strong. If those poor children can stand it, then so can I. Oh, if I had you to myself, young lady, I'd soon teach you a thing or two.
most merciful Lord, have pity upon us. We are brands plucked from the burning. We are thirsty souls who are parched in the desert. We cry to be given the shade of thy love. We clamor to be bathed in thy holy blood. Get it. It only wants the Ganges at the bottom of the square and we'd all be washed away. Even if we don't believe, we don't have to make fun. We don't believe. We. She's not a bit like Janet, I do know that. wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss, and pour contempt on all my pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
in the 40 Supers. I've got my orders. But I'm not here to be pushed about. <laughs> when did you have your last drink? I get a drink, I tell me. Get a drink? Get a drink? My God, <laughs> No wine, no beer, no spirit with liquor. And I came to the city when you come back and left. And all the settings were always good. That must be poor old Mr. Shushins from Turn Hill. Do you know him? I think I've seen him with my father, but years ago. Well, look what they're doing to him. They're guying him. He will stop it. Something must be done. Gentlemen, at least I know him by sight. He's very well known in Turnhill yes, as a Sunday school teacher, and I'm sure he ought to be on that platform. He's a friend of my father's, Mr. Clayanger, the printer. His friends are not to let him out like this, so just look at him. Yeah. I'm on point duty. If you ask me, I should say his friends ought to take him home. <laughs> <laughs> he ought to be on that platform. That's what he's come for. I'm sure it means everything to him. That's all very well, Miss, but who's going to get him on the platform? He'll be dropping a sunstroke before he gets home now. What's all this? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Clayhanger. Oh, Mr. Dobby, um... This man this is, uh, ought to be on that right. platform. Mr. Shushins, where have you been, old gentleman? Everybody's been asking for you. Service you were all nigh over. Look, you want to come on over? Yeah, he's a queer old stick. He's doing out with him, you know. Well, I mean, he quarrelled with everybody at turn, you know? Of course, we weren't going to refuse the oldest Sunday school teacher in five towns. I mean, he's a catch. <laughs> right, well, oh, come along, old gentleman. Come along, Mr. Shushant. Let these gentlemen take you up to the platform. That's what you've come for, you know. Your lady friend? Um, no, thanks. Oh, right. Oh, well, come along, old gentleman. Should we go back to our barrels? No. Let's go and find Janet and Mr. Orgreave. There you We've are. been looking for you everywhere. That's so annoying. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Well, uh, there was quite a scene. There was an old man. Mr. Shushens. Yes, he's a Sunday school teacher from Turnhill. Yes, he's Hill. the oldest in the five towns. Yes, and they wouldn't let him on the platform. Why not? Because he was dirty and untidy, and they thought he was drunk, I suppose. Oh, poor old thing, what a shame. And Miss Lesways did a lot to help him. Oh, no, I didn't. Not enough. Look, jump to the end of the story. Did he get onto the platform? I think so. Oh, good. Because I doubt if he or I will be here for the next centenary. On top of which, I've been out far too long. Shall we walk? Father, it's far too hot to walk. I'm infected by the mood. We'll spare no expense. We'll take the tram. Edwin, come with us for the ride. Um, no, uh, I think I'd better get back. He is interesting, though. friend of yours this morning, Hildy, Mr. Cannon. Oh. oh, I forgot to tell you yesterday his famous newspaper, yours, has come to an end. Well, it's not surprising, really. it's not surprising. Nothing ever stood up to the signal yet.
says Mr. Cannon called while we were out. Called here? Yes, he wanted to see you. He left this note. Is Alicia feeling better? Oh, yes, yeah, she's sitting up in bed eating fruit cake. <laughs> Good. I would be grateful for an interview with you at once. Best wishes. Nothing urgent. It's a business matter. He's my solicitor, you know. <laughs> oh. Afternoon, Canna. Car geek. Didn't expect you in today. I didn't expect you. Oh, I, uh, I thought it was a holiday. A little bird told me you were in, uh, in Bursley this morning. I had work to do there. And now I've got work to do here. You never stop, do you? You've been drinking, Karkik? Not a very great deal. I find it hard to believe that you've come into work, but if you have, you've an office of your own. No, I, uh, I don't think I'll do any work today. Well, then kindly get out and leave me to do some. Cleaning up the mess from your newspaper, are you? Still, you had it all in Dason's name. I don't know what's got into you, Karkik. But if I were you, I shouldn't say another word until you've been home and sobered up. Come on, I'll guide you down the st This is my office. Mine. That's my name on the window. It's your office because I say it is. You're nothing without me, you stupid little tyke. You wouldn't last two minutes if I wasn't here to hold your hand and wipe your nose. It's possible you're right. You know damn well I am. But you'd last an even shorter time if I wasn't here to give you my name. We have an arrangement which suits us both. Now, please get off home and leave me to do some work. The Law Society won't have it, you know. You can't carry on in practice. You're not qualified. Now, look here, Karkik. I don't know what this is about. But if you've got a grievance, we'll discuss it. Eh? It's just that at the moment... No, I'm a little... I haven't a grievance, Canon. Oh, I have had, but not now. Because I've finished with you. You'd be foolish if you were. <laughs> not nearly so foolish as you will be. I'll not stand for much more of this car geek. Very well. Good afternoon. And where will you get to living? Who the hell but me will ever employ you? Oh, nobody will. I'm aware of that. But, uh, you see, I don't need to ask them to. I've uh, come into a little bit of money and I've decided never to work again. Ta-da, Cannon. What's that doing? Those papers I've got to clear up before we move on Monday, Father. Oh, oh. Shop will be open just the same. Oh, yes, Father. Can't afford to sit up just because we move. Be a blessed relief when it's over. Should have stayed here.
Saw that furniture you picked up yesterday, Father? It's really very good. Oh, that. Cost enough, anyhow. Just been round to see your auntie. Would have made her day. But she's seen you in procession, she said. Up in Sunday schools, not good enough for they. Huh? Not be another day like this for a hundred years. Get yourself organised and not stocks to go upstairs. If we got to blast it, we'll move on Monday. I'm not having space wasted upstairs. I want stock up there, Tuesday. Should I have told him about that old man? Probably forgotten him by now. I wonder how she'll carry on when we're nearly next door. <laughs> 